All right, we're going to actually work a problem that we've worked previously, uh, just to kind of refresh our memories here. Here we have a formula that says z equals x minus mu divided by sigma, the standard deviation. This is actually z-score formula from statistics. And we're supposed to solve this for x. So I'm actually going to write it um, a little bit bigger down here. So x minus mu divided by the standard deviation, or by sigma, that's a, a lowercase sigma. Now if I want to solve this thing for x, that means that I have to get this x variable all by itself. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this sigma. We're going to multiply both sides by sigma. So that will leave us with z times sigma equals x minus mu. And remember, we're supposed to be getting the x all by itself. So right now, it's being subtracted by mu. So we're going to add mu to both sides in order to undo that. So now we have z times sigma plus mu equals x. Now we've solved that for x now. Now we've actually did this in a previous section where we were learning to solve uh, formulas for a specific variable. And this is actually a rational formula or a rational equation uh, because it contains rational expressions. So we're going to practice with some more of these. Here we have a problem that says capital R equals lowercase r divided by 1 minus t. And we're supposed to be solving for t. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and write it just a little bit um, over here at the side so that we can work with it. Now, first of all, we're solving for t, but that's in the denominator. So we can't, you know, we can't work with things when they're in the denominator. We need to move them up. So let's multiply both sides by 1 minus t to begin with. By doing that, multiplying and dividing by the same thing will cancel each other out. So now over here on this side we have 1 minus t times r. And I'm going to go ahead and do that distribution as we go. So 1 times r would be r minus t times r would be rt equals over here on the right hand side we have an r. Okay, so now remember we're still solving here for t, so I need to move everything that doesn't have a t in it over to the other side. So we're going to subtract r, capital R, from both sides, and that'll leave us with negative rt equals r minus capital R. Now again, we're getting t alone, so we need to get rid of everything but t on this left-hand side. And in order to do that, we're going to divide by negative r. So if I'm dividing both sides by negative r, we're going to be left with t equals small r minus capital R divided by negative capital R. Now this is a fine answer, there's nothing wrong with it, but we don't really like to leave a negative in the denominator, so what we really need to do is we really need to move that negative up to the top, which will give us t equals negative r minus capital R over capital R. Now again, this is a fine answer, it's not a pro, or, I'm sorry, that should be a plus there. Negative r plus r. Once we um, distribute, I should have marked that a little bit better. We're going to have to distribute that negative throughout those parentheses. Okay, so here we are again. Now this is a fine answer. There's nothing wrong with it. However, if you want to turn this numerator around so that you're leading with a positive number, you can do that also. So we could also write the answer as capital R minus lowercase r over capital R. And that would actually probably be the best way to answer that.